Welcome to Stunning Memories, where we dive into the captivating world of cinema and revisit iconic films that have left an indelible mark on our hearts. In this special episode, we embark on a thrilling journey through time as we explore the cast of the legendary adventure film Raiders of the Lost Ark, released in 1981, and witness how they have evolved over the years. Join us as we uncover the transformation of these beloved actors from then to now in our exclusive 2024 compilation. Get ready to rediscover the magic of one of cinema's most beloved classics and see where the passage of time has taken its illustrious cast. First, we have Harrison Ford, who brought the iconic character of Indy to life at the age of 39. Now, at a remarkable 81 years old, Ford's portrayal of the fearless adventurer continues to inspire audiences worldwide, solidifying his status as a cinematic legend. Anything to do with it? Yeah. Which is usually a presenting an award. <laughs> That's an honor. Is it? <laughs> Next, we have Paul Freeman, who mesmerized audiences with his portrayal of the enigmatic villain, Belloc, at the age of 38. Now at 81, Freeman's compelling performance in Raiders of the Lost Ark remains a standout in cinematic history, showcasing his remarkable range as an actor. Your persistence surprises even me. You're gonna give mercenaries a bad name. Dr. Jones. Paul, got really busy. It's been good. And when fans are lucky enough to get to meet you, what are the most common questions people ask you? Next, we have John Rhys Davies, who brought warmth and humor to the role of Sala, Indy's trusted ally, at the age of 37. Today, at 80, Rhys Davies' endearing portrayal continues to resonate with audiences, adding depth and humanity to the beloved adventure film. Hot. And starts so ladling stuff in their plates, splashing all over the uniform. Yes, well, this is going to be a complete <laughs> a cluster, whatever it is. Um, and I, um, I thought, never mind, I haven't been. Next, we have Ronald Lacey, who portrayed the chilling antagonist Tote in Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981, captivating audiences with his sinister portrayal at the age of 46. Sadly, Lacey passed away in 1991 at the age of 55, leaving behind a memorable legacy of his compelling performance. They just have to pay me more money. I'm not trained for it. Oh, hang on a minute. I, I've, I've had a slight accident. Next, we have Denholm Elliott, who brought wisdom and gravitas to the character of Brody in the same film, portraying him at the age of 59. Elliott's portrayal resonated with viewers, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. He passed away in 1992 at the age of 70, leaving behind a rich body of work cherished by audiences worldwide. We have top men working on it right now. Who? Top. Meet him on the day of the Academy Awards. Mm -hmm. Though he didn't win, he was good-natured about it. I really felt to lose in that company it was almost a privilege, better than winning in less than. Next, we have Alfred Molina, who impressed audiences as Satipo, displaying his talent and charisma at the age of 28. Now, at 70, Molina continues to captivate audiences with his performances, demonstrating his enduring impact on the world of cinema. Give me the win. Throw me the idol. No time to argue. Throw me the idol. I throw you the whip. Give me the whip. Jumping, but I, all I could hear was a kind of rather faint thud. So it didn't, it didn't distract me at all. And it created, you're right, it created a very weird... Next, we have Wolf Kaler, who portrayed the formidable Dietrich in Raiders of the Lost Ark at the age of 41, bringing depth and intensity to the role. Today, at 84, Kaler's contribution to the film remains unforgettable, showcasing his remarkable talent and presence on screen. Okay, yes, it, it stopped raining. 
at the moment. It's, it's really good. It's getting a little warmer day by day. Let's continue with Vic Tablian, who portrayed the character Baranka in Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981, bringing depth and authenticity to the role at the age of 43. Now at 86, Tablian's contribution to the film stands as a testament to his talent and dedication to his craft. Next, we have Karen Allen, who enchanted audiences as Marion Ravenwood in the same film, captivating viewers with her charm and strength at the age of 30. Today, at 72, Allen's talent and grace endure, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of moviegoers. I'm sure I wasn't the only one to go on with my life. There must have been plenty of women for you over the years. Yeah, I guess so. You know, this is, is uh, as they say, the last film, I suppose, and um, it's nice to be... A Next, we have Don Fellows, who portrayed Kolar Musgrove in the same film, imbuing the character with authority and presence at the age of 59. He passed away in 2007 at the age of 84, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances that continue to resonate with audiences. Yeah, wow. Understand? Uh, <clears throat> yesterday afternoon, our European sections intercepted a, a German communicator. Next, we have William Hootkins, who portrayed Major Eaton in Raiders of the Lost Ark at the age of 33, showcasing his versatility and skill as an actor. Sadly, he passed away in 2005 at the age of 57, but his memorable portrayal in the film remains cherished by fans running around the world looking for all kinds of religious artifacts. Hitler's a nut on the subject. It's crazy. He's obsessed with the occult. Finally, we have Fred Sorensen, who portrayed Jock in the film, displaying his talent and charisma at the age of 32. Now at 74, Sorensen's portrayal remains a highlight of the film, showcasing his ability to bring warmth and authenticity to his characters. As we conclude our journey through the cast of Raiders of the Lost Ark from then to now, we hope you've enjoyed this nostalgic trip down memory lane. Witnessing the evolution of these talented actors over the years reminds us of the enduring magic of cinema and the timeless appeal of iconic films. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stunning Memories for more captivating content celebrating the classics that have shaped our cinematic landscape. Join us as we continue to explore the stories behind the silver screen and uncover the stunning memories that make movies unforgettable.